Low end, one in 20, high end, one in 10 people, adults? Adults, Ad wow. yes. Most people at some point in their lives are going to have an issue with insomnia. Whether people have difficulty falling asleep in the beginning of the night, waking up in the middle of the night, waking up too early in the morning. The people who can't fall asleep at the beginning of the night, their mind's just racing earlier than yours. Mm -hmm. Yours is just waking you up. Okay, this is really important to you. This is something you're doing all the time, all day. Guess what? What do we do with things that are really important to us? Make time for them. We schedule them, exactly. I always tell patients, if you don't deal with what's causing you stress or anxiety during the day, it's going to demand to be dealt with in the middle of the night. Let's talk about sleep supplements, Ooh. right? Melatonin is like the guy at the start of the race, right? He's the guy with the gun, he fires the gun. He doesn't have a car in the race. He's not like helping you stay asleep. He's telling you when to start the thing. So for a lot of adults, taking melatonin is really messing them up. I think the, the time in bed restriction is pretty interesting. I don't even do time in bed restriction that first week mm -hmm. because for some people, setting a wake time solves the issue. Hmm. Let's go back to sleep hygiene for a second. Caffeine withdrawal is not something I want to deal with in my mm. clinic, and I don't think it's necessary. So I tell people, do not change how much coffee you're drinking. Put it all before 11. When does the treatment fail? The treatment fails when people don't do it.